I need to fact check a story that I've heard for years. Yes. Is it true that when you went to uh, be in Blue Velvet, yes. that David Lynch first wanted to cast oh, Helen oh, yes. Mirren? Yes, and I just finished a film with Helen Mirren. So David sat next to me and said, can I have a phone number? Please, she turned me down. I want Helen he Mirren. He wanted and Helen Mirren for that role. Badly, badly. And you convinced him, no, it should be me. No, no, I didn't convince him. I said, I cannot give you her phone number. Oh, you but, did? Is that what you did? <laughs> But you totally you, stuck I mean, David general, Lynch, really? Yeah, well, they, well, you know, I mean, I said, you know, I, I don't know, you know, you don't give out the numbers of actresses. And, and then the next day, the door rang and, and there was a messenger with the script and a note from David Lynch that said, on second thought, since I was turned out by Helen Mirren, will you consider it? <laughs> Did you know that you were doing that, that you were pulling a fast one on him? That's great. No, I didn't know it, oh but I God. did. <laughs> Listen, you know, I, I know that, you know, over the years, you've said you like modeling more than acting. Yes. That's, the tru that's true. Yes, I, I explain why. Um, sometimes, I mean, sometimes it has to do with being a mama, because when you do a film, you have to commit three months. And sometimes a film, we live in New York, and sometimes a film I shoot in Poland, right. which is really difficult for the children or me taking the children Correct. with the tutor. Modeling was three, four days. There were jobs that were, right. and, and then if, if the child was sick, I can cancel the job. They can get another model. I can right. be home. So it was much more easy to manage. More in control. Uh, more in control of motherhood, and that's why I liked it I better. love the fact that that's your answer. Um, you understand that on the acting side, even if you like modeling better, Blue Velvet is probably the movie that people think. Yes. About, and you're okay with that. Yes. It's a little creepy. Yes, but it's a pretty good film. But it's a great movie. You know, and it's about women's abuse. Uh, you yeah. know, it's about women abuse. And I think we were very uh, open about it and sincere about it. And I think what confused, at first the film was controversial because... Uh, uh, Dorothy Valance, the character I play, is a, is a nightclub singer, yes. and she hides be behind her beauty. She's all made up, and she has the perfect hair, and she hides. She makes herself like a doll to hide this devastation. She's raped ritually. Her horribly child abused, has been yes. horribly abused. Her child yes. has been kidnapped. Her husband has been dead. Um, she thinks he might be dead or not, but he, eventually he was killed. Um, and uh, but. You know, I have, I grew up in Italy in the 70s where we had a lot of kidnappings, which is a horrible crime. Yeah. And uh, people that are kidnapped when they come, if they're not killed and they come back, they often suffer of what's called the Stockholm Syndrome, which is they become complice of the people that perpetrate right. the horror on them. And that's what I shaped my Dorothy Valance Well, it's one of be. the most extraordinary uh, performances uh, in an extraordinary career. And I, I you know, you. it's uh, what a treat yeah. to get to talk to you about this stuff. I wish we had more time.